Hi guys, um, now you might be wondering that we have a big, large solar system that's just one, but you are, you are wrong, not being mean or anything, but the truth is that, like, we have an inner solar system and an outer solar system, so it's not one big solar system. It's just an inner solar system and an outer solar system. So, um, now, um, at the inner solar system, the planets are mostly made of rock. You can step in the planets. But about Venus, since it's the hottest planet, Mer Venus and Mercury, it's impossible to land on those planets. Like almost impossible because of its hot surface the the surface is so hot venus's surface is as hot two times over two times hotter than a baker's oven so you would be screaming for help and the temperature of venus is 864 degrees fahrenheit and Mercury's is 800, over 800, something like that. Now, after the inner solar system, you're not just going to enter into the outer solar system. Of course, there is a Kuiper belt. Now, the planet, I mean, the Kuiper belt is an asteroid. A belt full of asteroids and of course it's like a big it's a circle and you're gonna see that one before you go to the outer solar system the outer solar systems are Jupiter Saturn Uranus Neptune and the inner solar system planets is Mercury Venus Earth Mars there are eight planets and yeah, there are eight planets. I think the Kuiper Belt is there because the gravity of Jupiter is so strong that if anything went near it, the gravity of Jupiter would pull it. Like, literally, like, seriously, pull it around it. And that's why Jupiter has a lot of moons circling around it. Jupiter has, Jupiter has, like, the most moons in the planet and yeah because of its gravity thanks to its gravity saturn okay okay saturn seriously people think this is the most this is the most beautiful planet yes that's my favorite planet saturn saturn is saturn's rocks are made of like Saturn's rings are made of ice, dust, and rocks. Those are what Saturn's rings are made of. And yeah, it's it has the second most moons. Yeah, it has the second most moons. And okay, move on to Uranus and Uranus. You might think this planet is a normal planet, normal everything, but it's not. It's flipped over sideways. Mm, scientists think that when Uranus was forming, there was a large, large, big asteroid that smashed Uranus and flipped it to its side. So it's sideways, and yeah, we miss Uranus old thing, and Uranus's rings are made of dust. So the inner solar system planets don't have rings, but the outer solar system planets all have rings. You might think Jupiter doesn't have rings, but it actually does. It's be... It, Jupiter's rings are just very faint. Jupiter actually does have rings, which I, be I believe it does have rings. Now, Neptune. 
coldest planet ever. Coldest planet. You might think Uranus is colder, but Neptune is more colder. Yeah, slightly colder. Neptune is approximately, on average, negative 363 degrees Fahrenheit. And Pluto would be the coldest planet if it was a planet. Pluto is negative 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And Pluto's, Pluto, Pluto is a dwarf planet. Now, when I say dwarf planets, there are three things a planet must follow to be a planet. First, at its orbit, it must push everything out of... When something is in its way at an orbit, it should have the gravity to push it out. And that's the only thing, Ju that's the only thing Pluto doesn't have. Yeah, and second thing... It must be a round shape. Third thing, which I'm struggling to know. It, third thing, it must be big. Now, Jupiter is not really that, Pluto is not really that big. So, it, it has to be a little bit big. It has to be big. And Pluto was a planet for 76 years, discovered in 1930 and ended in 2006. That's the facts I have. Bye.